Hello everybody, welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make an opening scene for your game using a user widget. So, let's get right into it. First, what you're going to want to do is get your opening sequence. Go into the file for the game. So, this is my game right here. So, go under content. And you're going to want to make a movies folder and then put your movie in it. So I have my opening right here, and that's what you're gonna wanna do first. Now, now that we have the movies folder, it's gonna show up in your game. You can open it up, and you can just get that movie and drag it and drop it into there. So now you can close that. And now as you can see, we have a file media source. Double click on it. Under advanced, click pre-cache file, and just hit save and you can close this. Next, what you're going to want to do is right click and under media, do media player and check video output media texture asset. Click OK and we'll name this opening media player. All right, so now we have the opening media player. You want to we're going to want to open this select your movie, the tutorial opening, or whatever you have yours named as, and you're going to want to have it play on open. Here we go, so there we go, it's kind of playing right now, I'll just stop it. Just hit save, and you can close it. Now what you're going to want to do is go under opening media, player video, just go here, save it, close it, and right click this, and create a material and we'll just name it opening media player video material double click on it and since we're using this in a user interface a user widget we're gonna go under material domain and you're gonna want to make it user interface keep it as opaque you can leave this all as default and out of RGB we're gonna put it into the final color so let's hit save and it'll apply it so you can close that and there you go you got your video stuff set up so that's all good now what we want to do is actually make the user widget so in our user interface folder what we want to do is create a new user interface widget blueprint and make a user widget and we'll name this WBP underscore opening and now what we can do is double click on here search up canvas and add it to the designer graph here so now what you can do is get an image and place it in and set it to the full screen and set all of these values to zero and there we go that's our image that's gonna where that's gonna be where a movie goes so hit compile save and under image, we can search up our video. There we go, opening media player, video material. And we will set it to that. So that's gonna be our image. So hit compile, save. And now we're gonna go to the graph. And we'll just delete these. And under variable, we're gonna wanna add, under this, we're going to click here and type in media player right here it will be an object reference and we'll name this variable to opening okay so hit compile save and now you're gonna have media asset right here and you're gonna want to add whatever movie it is you're adding and mine is the opening media so now we have that you just hit compile and save again and what we can do is go out of opening, get opening. Okay, so now that we've gotten our opening, we're gonna drag it out of here and we're gonna do open, open source, there we go. We're gonna have it open the source, drag it into there, select our media source, and it's gonna be your movie. So now out of there, we're gonna drag this and we're gonna have it do a delay. 
And for this delay, we can have it as the length of our video. Mine is 40 seconds, so I'll just have it as that. And once it's completed, you can remove all widgets. So now what we can do is go into our main menu widget and under graph, we are going to have the opening play once we click start. So what we can do is after the loading screen, we're going to have it play the movie. So what we can do is we're going to actually, we're going to want to make a new level for the opening. So what we can do is create a new level and we'll call it opening. Opening world. Okay. So we'll save these. We'll open it up and it's just going to be a blank room like last time. That's all good because there's nothing to show here. In other world settings, we're going to set the game mode to our third person game mode. Save that. And now, uh, under our open level blueprint, on event begin play, we're going to create a new widget. And it's going to be our opening widget. So out of this, we can add to viewport. Drag that into here. And out of add from viewport, we are going to have a delay of the video. So delay, and we'll have 40 seconds or whatever, however long your video is. And after that's done, open the next level. So open level by object reference and we're going to have our third person map or whatever the map you want to go into is and hit compile save and there we go so back to our opening blueprint this is all good that's good so what we can do now is go into here and after the five seconds, we're going to open a new level. So open level by object reference. And it's going to be our opening one, opening world. So compile, save. And out of from here, we can just delete this because we're not going to be opening that map. And what we're going to want to do is take this it or cut it actually and into our opening world blueprint after this we're gonna set this nope we're gonna paste whatever this is and plug it into here so that you can now control the player after the video is done playing okay so now what you're gonna do is go to your character and mine is just the default blueprint character third person here we go so under here, what you're going to want to add is a media sound actor to your character. So media sound. And we'll just have it that. Compile, save. And the media player is going to be our opening media player. So just compile it and save it again. And there you go. Now that's going to be able to play your music whenever you open up this opening level. So go into your main menu level. Okay, so now that you're in your main menu level, you can hit play and we'll test out the opening. So let's press start. It's going to load it up. And now here we go. It's playing the opening. So this is just the opening I made. You can have it as whatever you want it to be. It could be something as simple as uh, a city, it could be as simple as showing your world, it could be anything. But for now, I just have this. And once it's done playing, it should be able to 
open up our main level and we'll be able to control the character. And there we go. It opens up the main level of the game and you're able to take control of your character. So thank you all for watching this video on how to make an opening sequence. I hope it helped and I will see you in the next tutorial.